What's going on, Bourbon family? Happy August, everyone. Happy August. Can you guys all and gals all believe that the summer is almost done? I can't believe it. I can't. I can't. Hey, it's August. It's time to celebrate. Let's have some fun with it. Let's enjoy ourselves. Um, let's enjoy what we have left right for the rest of summer. All right. So I want to change up a little bit today. So August is here. A couple updates. Got to give some updates. Number one, three new patrons. Huge shout out to Harry, Rich, and Josh. I appreciate you, gentlemen. Thank you very much for supporting the Bourbon Judge. Um, so welcome to the uh, to the Bourbon family, to the Bourbon Judge family. Really do appreciate all your support, all the love. Uh, and then again, also thank you. Huge shout out to all my patrons in general, as well as to everyone who watches the channel. Much love, much respect. I really do appreciate all the love from everyone out there. Um, and then also kind of, kind of building off patrons. Funny enough, I spent today bourbon hunting all well not all day but all morning all early morning uh early afternoon as well with one of my patrons actually we kind of realized that hey we kind of live you know a couple hours away so we kind of met in the middle we went bourbon hunting he grabbed the bottle or something i found a bottle um you know it was really cool just the number one meet in person catch up i mean that's honestly what this is all about just kind of coming together so we had a blast really appreciate it, it was really cool to meet meet him in person and uh I mean, again, this is what it's all about, right? Just enjoying good things, all bourbon things related. So, uh, good stuff. Another uh, quick update for my patrons as well is that very soon in the month of August, be on the lookout. Actually, I'm going to put this on Patreon pretty soon here. I'm actually doing a, let's call it the Bourbon Judge Happy Hour. So, we're going to have a fun little happy hour with all my patrons. Want to have a blast. Just enjoy ourselves. Hopefully, everyone can make it can't make it we'll raise a glass to you in your honor and uh we will cheers and and and, and, and miss uh, whoever can't make it but hopefully everyone can make it um i'll put the details well in events on patreon and uh look forward to really just honestly trying to catch up with as many of my patrons as possible all right folks so let's call the last few episodes most of the bottles i reviewed have been some expensive bottles so I want to change it up just a little bit, and hopefully the next couple of reviews will be, let's call it more bourbon budget friendly bourbons, all right? Bourbon budget friendly bourbons. I like that. Not bad. <laughs> so what are we going to kick it off with today? We're going to go ahead and dive into Maker's 46 Cast Strength. All right. Let me let you guys see the bottle. Hold on. There's the front of the bottle. Got that? Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. That's the back. There we go. All right, you guys got it. And think back a little bit. So I reviewed Makers 46 a couple months ago, and I enjoyed it, right? I did enjoy it. I thought it was really good, uh, really good weeded bourbon. I enjoyed it. It was completely different than the standard traditional Makers mark, and I thought Makers did a fantastic job with Makers 46. So I obviously knew that they put out Makers 46 cast strength. I love a cast strength bourbon, so this was like, to me, it's like a no-brainer. You got to go ahead and check it out and get it on the channel. So we'll go ahead and see how that one is, uh, how this one is, and how it even compares to regular Makers 46. So let's go ahead and just do the uh, Cliff Notes version of Makers 46, and I will put the link up above as well. So when you think of Makers Mark, obviously the Samuels family started the company going back over 70 plus years. Um, so Makers Mark, uh, based in Kentucky, obviously known as a weeded bourbon. And when you think of Maker's Mark, the cool thing about it is from an availability standpoint, you can find Maker's Mark 46, for the most part, all over. The cast strength version, you can also find it all over. You might have to go to maybe two, maybe three liquor stores, but you will definitely at least find it, which by itself, this day and age, is just like a win all day long. You, there's no bourbon hunting. There's no, you have to make great friends with like the liquor store owner or the the manager it you can actually just go into a liquor store and voila you can actually find it that is a very foreign concept in this day and age as it relates to bourbon <laughs> so all right um last thing i'll say is that from a price standpoint so now i i actually purchased this bad boy from costco and i got it for 46 dollars which quite interesting makers 46 i got it for 46 bucks <laughs> But I will say is that, you know, even if you can't, everything's cheaper at Costco. We all get that. If you do find a regular liquor store, it's typically going to be about 50 bucks, but typically not much more than that. It's a $50 bottle all day long, which is great. Again, never marked up. 
never secondary, none of that nonsense, regular everyday prices, which by itself you can't beat. I poured a little bit, let me get a little bit more. Ugh, goodness gracious, that was in there. Um, one last thing I will say, this one coming in at 110.3 proof. Interested to see how different is it compared to the 94 uh, proof, the regular Makers 46. Very interesting to see how different it is. And I kind of thinking back, I remember the regular Makers 46 was phenomenal, honestly. I, I slept on it for a while. It was really, really good. You know, I love obviously, you know, the whole process where they put like the, the different staves in, right? They put the, the bourbon, their ma regular makers back into their barrels with these heavily seared staves. And that's what, these French oak staves, by the way. And that's what gives it all the flavor. I love the regular makers 46. So this one has a lot to live up to. Um, obviously coming in a cast strength. I love a cast strength bourbon. So I'm hoping, I'm praying, fingers crossed that it works out. Let's go ahead and see. Let's get into that color real quick. So it's very nice. It's like a, it's like a dark walnut brown, almost. Uh, yeah, it's like a walnut. A little bit of like auburn in there as well. Not bad. Not bad. A little reddish brown. Not bad at all. But more walnut brown. Let's get into the nose a little bit. So holy mother of pearl. Mmm. Damn. That is definitely slightly different than the nose on the regular Makers 46. So I remember. The regular Makers 46 had a nose of mostly like French toast, some caramel, um, some pecan, some vanilla, uh, and some like toffee and cinnamon all mixed up. This one, just to me, let's make sure here, interesting. It still has all those elements, your French toast, like the caramel, the vanilla, the pecans, and like the toffee. But the cinnamon is the number one thing that stands out in this nose. Slightly different than the regular 46. The cast strength, now again, this one's 110.3 proof, where the regular Maker's 46 is 94 proof. So, obviously much stronger. And being barrel proof at cast strength, or I should say at cast strength, um, way more notes of cinnamon. Way more robust in the nose. All right, folks, I need three favors. Number one, please hit the like button. Number two, please drop me a comment. I love going back and forth. Nothing better than going back and forth with everyone. Really do appreciate it. And last but not least, please make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. Appreciate that also. Mm. Not bad. Woo. All right, folks. As we say each and every week, peace, cheers, salute. Appreciate everyone out there. Salute. Mmm, that is, um, woo, that packs a nice little punch. That packs a very nice punch. All right, let me get a little bit more. You guys know I'm going to give you the full palette, um, the finish, everything, and the judgment as well, right? We can't can't have the uh, bourbon judge video without the verdict. But let me get a little bit more. There's a little bit left in my glass. Let's just check that out. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. All right, so the um, the finish, it's very hot and spicy. The nose picked that up too because it had tons of cinnamon and very spicy in the in the um, in the nose also. The finish, it's here and then it kind of slowly drops off. It's not an extremely long finish. It's pretty quick, but it's very um, very um, very hot in the palate. The palate in the finish is very hot. Tons of cinnamon. It's interesting because the nose, I picked up how much more cinnamon it is in this one versus the actual regular Makers 46. And the palate was the exact same. Tons of cinnamon. So the question is, two questions actually. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Changing this up. Two questions. Number one, to me, is it better than the regular Makers 46? And number two, is it a buy? So, at $50 for a six-year aged bourbon, number one, is this a buy? The verdict is in. To me, this is a buy. 
Now, I will say, I enjoy it. I thought it was very, very good. Um, nice, decent finish. Uh, everything from the nose did transfer to the palate, but the main thing that stands out with this one, tons more cinnamon. For me, me only, I actually prefer the regular Makers 46 versus the Cast Strength. Here is the reason why. I felt like the regular Makers 46, maybe just being at that 94 proof, to me and me only, it's so much more well-rounded. I just felt like the nose is more well-rounded, the palate was more well-rounded, everything from the nose transferred to the palate. This one, it did also, but there's a lot more cinnamon in it, where I felt like the lower proof, the regular Makers 46, to me, I thought is, is slightly better than this. I really do. This is a little hot on the finish. Um, and even though it's cast strength and not, you guys, you guys and gals know I love cast strength like the next man, right? I really do. This one was a little hot and it just wasn't as well rounded in the finish. That lower proof really packs, in my opinion, almost maybe even a better punch and a more well-rounded punch. Still a buy, still a good product, but uh, you're not going wrong with this one. But if it was me and I'm picking between the two, all day long, I would go with the regular Makers 46 over the cast strength. That's just the bourbon judge. That's how I roll. That's my decision. You might like it a little bit different, but uh, I would definitely prefer the regular Makers 46 over this bad boy. Folks, I appreciate everyone out there. Peace, cheers, salute. Uh, by the way, be on the lookout uh, coming soon. Trying to get together with a few channels for my first ever live um, episode on the Bourbon Judge channel. So more to come. Going to have some future, uh, some other channels uh, as guests. We're going to have some giveaways. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out. Later.